like to start with an opening statement on the game? Uh, well, first and foremost, I just want to tell everybody how proud I am of the seniors and the effort that they put forth. Uh, you know, we had a game leading the whole game and, and, you know, a couple shots at the end changed the dynamic and it's hurtful, uh, it stings, but I, I appreciate everything that they've done. You know, kudos to James Madison being the number one team and then the fight that they put up, uh, and, you know, especially there at the end of the game. We'll do questions for Coach and the student athletes now. Uh, Coach, uh, from your perspective, what was the biggest uh, biggest factor in getting off to that fast start and kind of uh, a different a different start than the, the game you had against Jamie this past weekend? It really, just part of our game plan was really being who we are, and, and we play fast. We just haven't really shown it consistently throughout the season, and, and so it was one of those things where even if it doesn't necessarily go our way, we're going to take one possession at a time, still being us. What basically were the problems at your end uh, coming down the stretch? Uh, well, you know, a couple key turnovers there. We missed a few shots. We, we didn't get the ball back necessarily, and James Madison did a really good job of coming right back down, and they capitalized very well on mistakes. Uh, Coach, what did you see on that, that inbounds there when uh, Jasmine Groffey kind of got, got a hand in there and it, and it bounced it off and, and, and you guys turned the ball over there? You know, we really didn't talk about uh, the possibility of them not guarding the inbounder and double teaming. And so, uh, you know, I take blame for that. And we should have been able to at least get a deflection off of somebody's foot or something so we could at least have the ball back. And, and, and you know, what we drew up was, I think, I thought it was a pretty good play. We just needed to get the ball inside. And then once we did, it would have been uh, a different game. Um, then uh, what was, I think was kind of the change in the second half. Uh, Jamie kind of caught momentum there. How how big was that for you think for Jamie to kind of uh, take you know kind of take the reins back a little bit? You know, it, it was key. But again, my kids, we, we fought back. It wasn't like they took the lead and then just kind of kept going with it. We tied the game back up. It, you know, it was one of those stories where two possessions at the end of the game changed everything. More questions. Chris Chandler, College of Charleston Sports Information. Um, we, we, looking at James Madison as the reigning champ from last year, mm -hmm. and who knows what's going to happen for the rest of the tournament, you got to look at yourself as kind of right there with them in that game. What do you take going forward to next season and in this offseason? Well, we just continue to be who we are and continue to get better. Uh, you know, James Madison having a few all-conference players, it, it – shows why they're one of the best teams in the, in the conference and in the country, in, in my opinion. And, you know, they have the opportunity to move on to the NCAA tournament and make some really good things happen for them. But, you know, so do we. I think that we matched up very well with them, you know, talent for talent. Uh, and it, it was just one of those games where it didn't fall our way. But next season, it, you know, it could be a different story. Any more questions? All right, thanks, Charleston.